Just get it done! Hey, go sober up Charlie. Get him working on some new pages with the frogs. Hey, look at you, you handsome devil. Garland King, you've heard of me. No, but I've heard you can help the Army of Chaos. <laughs> Let's not worry about that now. Come on, walk with me. Rico, I love everything about you, man. The look, the swagger, the leather. You're an artist, my friend. The Da Vinci of violence. Which is why I need you for this picture. I don't see what that has that, to do We'll with. work out the details later. Hey, you see that barely floating rust bucket there? See? I need it to careen through the water. My stuntmen, bless their square jaws. They can take a left hook, but uh, they lack the touch of a true artiste. So here, you take these, and I want you and to- And I- da -da! Details. Just plant them on the rust bucket and send that baby straight to the great dry dock in the sky. King, what's this about frogs? That has nothing to do with my story. Hey! Are you in? I suppose I could. Perfect! We'll get your agent a copy of the contract. You don't have an agent. We'll get you an agent. We're gonna do amazing things together, doll. Okay. Hey, Charlie! Fuck your story, all right? You know, that's the old way. We're gonna do something that's never been done before. Hey! Make sure the reel is full. star and my bodyguard I haven't agreed to anything I got a lot of expensive equipment in this van so don't let them wreck us uh, fine I came here to shoot my next picture my magnum opus oh yeah it looks like a paradise but everywhere you go it's permits and they only give you permits if you're Espinosa telecom and by the way, I'm not Espinosa Telecom. They got this place locked down tighter than a clam's ass at high tide. I love Solis. Wish I had a DP in the car. You're doing beautiful work. You blow stuff up for a living. Most guys just pretend to do it and let the effects department handle the record. Where are we going? I'm headed to the next shoot. You're gonna fake my death. We just made and I'm already faking your death. Be a sport, sport. You're almost wrapped for the day. Hostile in our audio of operation. Take my van! Get the Black Hand's attention! Damn it. Guess I better find a Black Hand outpost. Lure him away, then wreck the van. Make it look like I died in a big explosion. That's how I always wanted to go. Are you kidding? I wouldn't get about my own death. Make it dramatic. Bombastic! Should buy me a few hours. Hasta luego! No further contact. What do you need? Stay alert. Lost contact with enemy. Regroup. Out. 
to wreck this van, I guess. I can keep... Listen, baby, I know you're busy. Stop by when you got time. I've got more work for you. It'll be worth your while. My people will call you. Ciao! Revolutionary. You must be Javi. I am not. There's little time to explain. Javi said you would be able to bring him the equipment he needs. Did he? The Black Hand have confiscated his things over by the waterfall. If you defeat them, you can take his equipment to him at the Tomb of Sumar.
Hostile has been re-engaged. Eyes open for further contact. Senor Rodriguez, this is Abby Huerta. I'm sorry we weren't able to meet. This better be worth it, amigo. It is. I... Place, Harvey. An aqueduct. Six centuries old, and sealed off by the Black Hand since its discovery. Uh huh. I promise, I will explain everything. There's a map inside the plane. You can get my coordinates from there. Got your map. Where am I going? I'd like to begin with where you're coming from. That aqueduct is hidden behind those doors for a reason. For years, I have gathered evidence that the indigenous peoples of Solis were more advanced than we've been told. The Espinosas didn't like anyone challenging their narrative. I was imprisoned, my wife won't speak to me, my reputation is ruined. Your shady friends seem to think you are okay. I made allies in prison, people who've seen the cracks in the facade. Now they help me uncover the truth. And what do you need me for? I believe I have discovered the path to the tomb of Otorongo, last ruler of the pre-Espinosa people of Solis. According to the history books, Otorongo was executed for countless murders. But I believe the reality is more complex and dangerous. To who? The Espinosas. Their monopoly. If this part of history is not true, what else might be false? Histories, criminal records, election results. Truth is a commodity to the wealthy. Dropping off plata and ka -ching. Your lie becomes the law. You had a lot of time to think in prison, huh? You have no idea, Senor Rodriguez. Find me at the mouth of the cenote when you arrive. The what? Ah, a cave in the top of the mountain. Avi Huerta. Did you bring what I asked? See, si. your stash is safe for now. You want to put that gun down? It's not a gun, Senor Rodriguez. It's a relic. A figure of Otorongo. Mid 16th century. So, were you going to hit me with that? Hit you? <laughs> I was going to run away with it. To protect it. 
It's very precious. Mm. See, the Black Hand were very interested in your collection. Yes, well, uh, the truth is a very powerful weapon. Oscar Espinosa fears that I will use it against him. And you really think what you find in Otorongo's tomb can help you take down Espinosa? Take down? Perhaps not. Discredit? Most definitely. And this is Otorongo's tomb? Oh, hardly. No, this is merely the tomb of his servant, Sumak. But I've been unable to proceed further without my retract motor. Did you bring it? <laughs> I see. Bueno. Let's begin. That object is why we need the retract motor, Rico. I believe it is connected to underground machinery. That sounded like... Something. I see it. A giant head. Rico, follow it. I can tell what kind of day this is going to be. This one may be Sumak's visage. Avi, big guy and I are at the floor of the cave. What do you see? There's a mechanism in the ground. Looks about the same size as the head. It's a giant lock, Rico. The Uma is the key. Can you use the retract to get the Uma to the mechanism? Why not? Something happened. A door opened up. It must be the vault where Sumak sleeps eternal. Rico, please. There's a human skull with a candle inside. Light it and be ready for anything. There's text on the wall. I'm buried. Only five beds remain. That mean anything to you? No. Sounds like a sink. If it's gonna screw over Espinosa, count me in. Bueno, others close to Otorongo will likely have the other lines. The tombs of his family, his advisors. I'll keep my eyes open.
my legs. Out. We're ready to go, but Izzy's off getting us some intel from a guy in Kuya. Can you make sure she gets to the outpost safely? Can't wait to meet her. Hey, Nico, good chance to test our new pilots, no? Sure. Chevre, go on, you wanna go? Mira, Sargento, dropping in over Cuya. Yes. Isis waiting for you on the roof of the Batista building. On my way. There she is. <sighs> nice to meet you. Buenas, hardware. No chopper? Figured you'd bring one. Huh. Think I know where to get one. I'd say the pilots are gonna work out fine. Let's go, easy. Right with you. Mira, where are we going? Listo, just got here. Sending you coordinates. like this spot. Thanks for the lift, hardware. Anytime. Mira, we're here. What? Bien, I'm in the control center. Come on up. We're pushing forward, but none of that matters unless we can disable Yappa's defenses. EC and I have been working on that. All of these facilities house prototype weather cores, and each core is connected to Yappa's defense network. Mm, the towers with artillery. See, si. if we can plant a virus in those weather cores, we can send a message up the network causing malfunctions in the tower's machinery. Everything breaks, boom, no more artillery. Then we just have the blizzard. One thing at a time, Mira. 
Tell me more about the facilities housing the weather cores. This is Zona Uno. It's protected by a sandstorm. Mira here. Gracias, Izzy. What's that? Information on a place called La Masmora. It's a prison hidden in the desert. Something Gabriela said. I think my uncle Lanza might still be alive. And if he is, he's being held there. And, uh... He can help us get into Zona Uno? He helped your father build Project Iapa. Mira, if he's still alive, I'll find him. Here is Zona Trace. According to Easy, he's not on the network, but I have an old friend, Cesar. He has a theory that might help us. Then let's hear what he has to say. And this is Sona Dos. We don't know much about that facility. Are you ever going to answer this? I'm not an agency man anymore. Rico, those coordinates are close. Look. Ay, that can't be a coincidence. I'll check it out. I'm sending you all the data you'll need to your AR lens. Good. Let's start hitting Oscar where it hurts. Tom Sheldon. Well, I guess you got my message. It's all clear, Mita. I'm on my way. And who's that? Why are you here, Sheldon? When you went dark after Medici, I figured I'd look through some of your old files. See where you might end up. It turns out your dad was working with Oscar Espinosa back in the day. Something called Project Iapa. What do you know about Iapa? I know there's lots of buzz about Solis at the agency these days. Talk of weather modification technology, strategic atmospherics. Of course, once the higher-ups heard that I was looking at those IAPA files, I ended up on administrative leave. Guess I'm not the only one who doesn't trust Tom Sheldon. I know you're looking to take out IAPA, Rico. I've already done some of the legwork. You screw me over more than once in Medici. I don't want your help, Sheldon. Well, you're gonna need it. I did some snooping around Zona Dos. <clears throat> Turns out that place is constantly surrounded by a nasty lightning storm. Fried poor Annabelle here. That seems pretty suspicious to have a standing lightning storm like that, don't you think? 
this a friend of yours, Rico? Not exactly. Mira Morales, this is Tom Sheldon. I've known him for 20 years. He cannot be trusted. Buenas. Don't listen to this guy, senorita. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Rico and I were just discussing the situation with Zona Dos. And you know how to access the core? I don't know anything about the core, but I got a good idea how to get us past that lightning storm. Good luck with Annabelle, Sheldon. We'll figure something else out. He's got a plan, Rico. And we don't. Duck. Okay. Now, there's a river that runs underneath the facility. I figure we use a boat to get close. You remember the Stingray base back in Medici? The same basic concept. Do you want to make a lightning-proof boat? Yeah, bingo. Now, I also hear there's a nearby research lab that's testing a way to harness lightning. I figure we find something there to protect the boat, spare us poor Annabelle's fate. You're talking about that facility in the mountains, Medio Lab. <laughs> you got it. And we could do the custom boat work at Prospero Astiero. Interesting. Yeah, coming around, aren't you? Why are you doing this, Sheldon? Well... Because I owe you, Rico. You want to take out Iapa? I want to help you do it. Besides, we both know we can't have just anybody running around with a weather weapon, for God's sakes. You got a better idea? Shit. That's what I like to hear. So, we meet up at Medio Lab when we're ready? Sounds good. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna shoot me. <laughs> Not this time, Sheldon. <laughs> 